Michael Valentino from Crusader Caravans in Campbellpool, Victoria. Today we've got a brand new van to show you, it's in our Excalibur Serenity, it's a 21 foot 6 side club lounge caravan, it drops down to a table configuration for an extra bed to sleep in, separate shower toilet there at the back, queen island bed with robes either side, front load washing machine and a heap of extras in our Excalibur range, we've optioned it up, we've done a little bit different with the colour scheme, we're going to jump inside but before we do I'm going to tell you all the boring stuff on the outside. So today we've got a 6 inch A frame from Intel Engineering, it's right from the tip of this coupling running right back to the wheels, we have a substructure of 6 inches all the way through, 3 millimeter grade of steel, all Australian chassis steel and manufactured here in Melbourne by the Intel Engineering Group. So it's 450 MPA grade of steel, 3 millimeter Australian source steel. These guys here work in a complete jig, it's millimeter perfect measurements, as well as running an independent tough ride 3.3 ton independent suspension for semi off road and corrugation work. This guy is loaded with a heap of stuff to love. The clip on A frame from the um, Excalibur shroud just there, so it's an A frame shroud, protects the actual A frame paint, which is a gunmetal uh, two pack finish sort of look caravan finish here. We have a 12 pin plug, we're running an Anderson plug of course to recharge our batteries. We've got our camera cable there from Safety Dave, so it's a reversing camera from Safety. We have a trailer safe brake pin that pulls out and engages the caravan brakes hard wire directly to the caravan batteries, no maintenance or battery to check up on. We have an Alco 50mm ball running coupling, we offer alternatives as well of course. We have an Alco uh, wind up jockey wheel rated to 3.5 tonne, Matador uh, hooks here on the front with chain hooks with bolt on, um, bolt on jockey wheel just there as well. Two 9 kilo gas bottles with A-frame protector right here for the uh, gas regulator, up high and close, nice and sturdy. We have our tap just behind the A-frame guard just here, so it's a standard on the Excalibur uh, Serenity. We've got a TB7 from um, the guys at Raptor. So the uh, TB7 is featured, so we've got the two jerry cans. We have a slide out barbecue. Now the trick to this is we have a few questions. People pull this out, you've got to clip it down further and then we just got to go a little bit more and it pulls out just ever so slightly and then you can actually cook off of it so it makes it a more functional area and then you plug your gas bayonet in right just here to the back there with the gas bayonet hose you can cook off it none of that smell is going to transfer into the caravan we don't really do too many uh, Weber cues mounted inside the tunnel but it's actually in compliance to mount it to physically to the tunnel boot so we go right here and we mount it right to the uh, right to the coupling uh, sorry right to the uh, slide out A-frame tray just here on the Weber queue. On the opposite side, we have a slide out for the generator, and we can mount some tool, uh, some uh, bike racks right at the top there, which is the Farmer Fiama XL. We have a number nine coast door with an almost meter wide tunnel boot storage there, checker plate clad with our 32 inch TV box. This guy here tears at 2763 with an ATM of 3.3 tons, so a massive payload of 537 kilos, a ball weight of 178, ready to be loaded up here in the front with our 295 litre water tanks and 195 litre grey tank. We have full width awning across here, so that's a splash granite AE8700 uh, awning there with double reinforced canvas. We have our black awning arms to match, our high rise checker plate with multi-join uh, structural expansion joins there in the uh, side cladding, so that's something that Crusader do particularly well. It allows for that expansion and contraction of the alley pad Panel. So join, join, allows for that movement with one millimetre wire ran all the way through the comp build. We have our picnic table all the way across here, so nice external cooking, we just pop him out, keep him nice and closed for travel. This guy here, we have a TV hutch, all our external entertainment, we have our 12 volt aerial double power point and we have our TV point here. Hook our TV outside, barbecue at the front, cocktails on here on the table, we are lit and fine. We have our outside uh, annex lights as well as Bluetooth NCE speakers. We're running 15 inch 235 all-terrain wheels and tires from Primal Wheels and Tires. Uh, these guys here do a fantastic job. It's a six stud wheel and tire, 15 inch 10 inch drum on the 3.3 ton independent suspension with single shock absorbers and coil springs. Um, these guys do a massive job of being able to be retrofitted with an airbag assembly. We also have this underguard protection that Crusader have patented and used very, very extensively. That's a uh, fantastic uh, plastic comp manufactured wheel arch. It just makes it look a little bit flashy, but it also gives it that little bit of a little bit of a difference of what you're buying here in Australia. Mud flaps are behind the wheel. For the lazy people in the world, we've got our electric steps. Wazing, and then a zing with a little step light there as well. We have our security mesh privacy screen door. So this guy here just latches on the outside. Bargman grab handle assist, bright light, white. Uh, we've got a blue little night light there as well. Side clearance lights. Crusader Caravans is an RVMAP manufacturer, so that's an accredited uh, government body service that makes sure that Crusader Caravans are here or ADR, plumbing, um, electrical, all of those items are met under the RVMAP rules and regulations. This has met all quality assurance tags of Crusader and winners of manufacture of the year 2019 and 20 do a fantastic job. The Crusader team there at uh, 
in Epping. We have a wine guard aerial that we've upgraded on this model to give you a little bit more horizontal and vertical reception boosting there on the wine guard. Uh, we have our Manutech drop down legs, four stabilizer legs either side. We have these brand new LED auto lamp um, rear light, so that indicator goes all the way across like the European Audis. Very, very cool. We have our Safety Dave night vision camera, so that guy there stays on while you drive. It's a rear view camera, it also stays on, it also has sound operation, so each person can hear one another, except for the drivers uh, able to hear what someone's walking back. As we're saying, listen, there's a rock, blah, 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 blah. Just be mindful, you're gonna hear it in the cabin, and then as you're swearing back, the person at the back isn't gonna hear it. So it's very fantastic. 15 inch, 235 wheels and tires. Hot dip gal bumper bar here at the back with a two arm reinforcing. We've got our number plate carrier right here. We have a 28 litre stainless steel hot water service. That means no anode, no, um, no uh, maintenance at all, nothing to change, so it's a stainless steel unit. 28 litres, um, gas and 240 volt. We have our uh, Dometic CTS 4100 Dometic toilet cassette. So this guy just pulls out like so. You can take it on many of the uh, airline carriers. We just pop him right there, nice and easy snug. We have an external shower here, so that's hot and cold water with a um, push mixer tap. Our grey water tank, so this guy here's our grey tank like so. We have a cleaning point just like so here. We have our 295 litre water tanks, one forward, one back. We have a quick fill system. So you turn this valve just here, it sucks the water from here directly into the tanks. This is an Excalibur feature and something that is standard within the Excalibur range. Metal wheel arch, checker plate finish all the way across here. Vent for our microwave. We have our double glazed Dometic widespread windows, European windows. These guys have click reinforcers as well as we also have these side locking mechanisms as well that are fantastic. You can put it into any position you want. Today it's about 30 degrees here in Melbourne, so it's swimming in heat, so need all those windows open. Um, now, what we've got here is we've got our two, uh, two batteries. We've got two 120 amp AGM batteries here on the chassis. We have our outside waterproof ignition protecting switch, just like so, that cuts all the power to and from the caravan. They're all welded on, of course, by Intel Engineering Group. We have our tunnel boot side access point. A few of our fuses just here. We have a 50 amp fuse here for the main running gear of the caravan. Full storage all the way through, almost, as I said, almost a meter wide in there as well. We have our aerial import, we have our power inlet, as well as our circuit breaker protection. On this side of the caravan, besides the front window here at the front, we have our generator slide. Pop him up, rev the generator, plug him in here and it fires the whole caravan up, ready to go. The Crusader Caravan manufacturer's uh, pro approach to caravan construction is they use a fully insulated composite roof and a fully insulated composite floor. So that means this guy here is a fully insulated fiberglass unit. There is no timber in our roof or our fronts and our backs and our floors. The most important area is these guys take the absolute care and the worry out of everything. Fully insulated roof, fully insulated floor, only manufacturer to be running this whole composition with a Mirandi studded frame with LU panel side cladding. There's nothing more important and latest and greatest technology that is coming already in your brand new Crusader. In all of our models, Life Changer, Musketeer or Excalibur, it is coming as a standard in that manufacturing method. And I'm gonna be a gentleman and let the lovely lady inside first. So what we've got guys is we've got a 21 foot six Excalibur Serenity. This guy features a massive pantry upon walk-in a massive pantry that's about 12 inches deep, 300 millimeters deep. This guy here pulls open, and we have a massive amount of storage in this area here. Um, we have a, a huge club lounge. So the club lounge spans, it's almost 2.1 meters. It's a massive area. It allows for that relaxation comfort. This is why it's my favorite sort of layout here. You can be chilling across this side here. You can be chilling across that side there. And then just when you feel like playing a little bit of poker, of course, uh, we just get our little handle, which is hidden over here, and you can turn this whole assembly on its side. So very easy to be able to sit across from one another, have a meal, converse, play some Uno, Cards Against Humanity, whatever, you, whatever you're into. Um, there's a heap of different alternate layouts that you can go with this as well. We can remove the club lounge, we can install recliner chairs. Of course, this is a stock unit. The things we've upgraded in this stock unit is we've gone to a wine guard aerial. We've changed the frid fridge face in the caravan. Costs a little bit more, but we think it adds a little bit of flair to it. So we've gone for a white fridge face. 28 inch smart TV. We have an extra battery, as mentioned earlier, and we have our timber top arrangement as well. This fan here is specced, but it is gorgeous. The videos do not do it justice. This is one of my favorite vans we've probably built as far as colors. It adds a little bit something different. It makes it a little bit bohemian and very quite nice. So I'll tell you the things that make the Excalibur different. So first of all, we have a side wrap club lounge with power points either side. Our reading lights have USBs located in them. 
I'm gonna open this window, it's a double glazed window. You've got full block out, midi proof screens of course. You've got an aluminum extrusion here that the cupboards strike onto. These guys here cop an absolute beating and a half. You can smash them around. The thing is absolutely massively strong. It does a heap of stuff, very, very good. As far as strength wise in this van, you couldn't get a better van for the money or the effort that they put into it. Um, we have professional CNC manufacturers manufacturing all of our cupboards, running all of our constructional methods in our van. We have our metal sided drawer runners with polycomp construction material. There's no timber in this drawer construction. We have a composite here, composite plastic at the bottom. We have a, a cutlery tray. We have our very easy lift handle. So pinky, of course, and very, very easy. Anyone with any sort of arthritis or anything in their hands, it is so much easier to use in these push button handles. Even I can't use them, 26, and I'll be like, there's no chance I'm having a crack at that. These guys here are on very easy runners. You get a 10 year warranty in all of those drill runners, of course, to be able to make sure that we stand by our standard. We have our plastic grip catches that's striking onto an aluminium extrusion, as demonstrated earlier. It strikes onto a 60 newton meter gas strut either side. We don't use those pissy little hinges. We use reinforced proper piano hinging as well as our reinforced gas struts. We have LED lights everywhere in this caravan. We haven't even really turned many of them on because there's just no reason to. Um, we have strip lighting that runs all across the top of the cupboards there. We have our electrical cupboards here on a dimming switch so we can play around and tune all these guys up. This guy here runs a PM300 battery management system. Comes complete with all the things you'd expect, hot water, cold water, gas, the whole lot. We have our range hood, we have our oven of course from Swift, so this is a fan forced oven with wok burner, yes wok burner. We have our grill, we have our oven of course in so. We've got massive wide scale drawers and I'm not tall at all, uh, very very short if you couldn't gauge from the video. Um, Microwave under bench, so that's something I can really appreciate at my height. It just means getting in stuff in and out of this microwave is significantly easier and something I don't have to worry about. We have large scale pot drawer in there as well. We have full cupboard. We have filter tap, normal tap, filter gauges underneath there. We have our stainless steel sink, massive amount of bench space in here. We have our 28, uh, 28 uh, inch smart TV, as well as magazine pocket behind this area here, just for an extra bit of storage. We have two fans either side of the bedroom, so the fans, we have two Sirocco fans, either side of the bedroom. We have a pressure system hatch that's already factored into the price, so you're getting full um, pressure retention as you're driving, keeping all that dust out. Wine guard aerial with HV indicator. We also have, oh, pop him off, pop him on. I'm trying to film it, it's gonna make sound on us, that'd be good. We have our full wardrobe in here, a full hanging space. We're inside this little pop-out area just like so. We have double PowerPoint and USB charging systems, as well as drawer underneath here. We have a little pocket just in here to be able to pop cups of tea, coffee, whatever it may be. Um, our bed is six foot two by five foot, so a heap of storage room underneath there as well, ready to be able to put a diesel or gas heater or whatever you want to pop under there. We've got our jack under there at the moment with a drawer, of course. The table can drop down to a bed. All you have to do is buy another little cushion. They're about $140 or so. Two footrests on the seats that flick up, of course, as well. This guy just flicks up like so, ready to roll. Drawers underneath the lounge. We have a full height pantry. So one, two, three, four, five, and little flap. Very, very easy to use with massive amount of storage. You've got a full height pantry, just to give an idea of depth. We've got a massive pantry in here. It's good for bottles of sauce, good for wine, whatever you want to be able to pop inside of that one. We have a 220 liter three-way fridge in this model. We also offer option we also offer optional um, upgrade variables to do with compressor systems and stuff that you may be looking in your future order with the caravan. Um, the earliest we can get you a Crusader at the moment is about November, December 2021 at present. Um, and we're out taking orders, of course, for that delivery period. It will come around like no time, guys. Worth the wait. We have a CTS 4100 um, toilet. We have a ceramic base in that, of course, as well, with flush system and pull-out system there as well. Lockable shower door. We have our shower in here. The shower is a one-piece fully insulated composite panel, all Australian made and manufactured here. It's um, blown and set here in Melbourne. We have fully insulated, so all the way it's across, guys. So it's one piece all the way. Shower head nice and high, goes full height, right up to the top there. Anyone who's tall, the ceiling height in our vans runs at 80 inches, so it's people who are 6'4", 6 6'6". 6 6. They're gonna love this van. We've got fans in and out. It's very, very warm today, so sorry for the out of breath movement, guys. Um, we have a front low washing machine like so from Qflow, that's a two and a half kilo, 
have our hot water service switch, our window and our top roof vent, shaving cabinet that is known in the Excaliburs. This guy is fantastic, heap of storage, deodorant cans, anything you're gonna need. Touch light there. We have our overhead covers. Just look at the perfection that Crusader gets to. These guys here, when they open up, you still get the same gap as it goes back down. That slimline approach is fantastic. Got a heap of storage here as well, all the way down. A nice little hidey hole where the hot water service is. You can still pop bits and pieces in there as well. The storage in these vans, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to put it, heaps of stuff in it. A lot of people look at it from that approach. It's just looking at it with the approach of you can separate and start organizing all of your items that make sense to you in a way that's not just jumbled or you know, there's a spot for everything. And that's the approach we have here at Crusader. If you'd like to know more about the Excalibur Serenity, please give us a call on 03 9359 2938. Head to our website, crusadercaravansmelbourne.com.au. We are a Melbourne based dealership, guys. Um, please contact your local dealer if you have any issues or questions. But by all means, please give us a line if you'd like to contact the Melbourne dealership, 9359 2938. Alternatively, like and subscribe for the next video, and we'll see you on the road soon. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.